Rutherford's experiment, the discovery of the nucleus. Ernest Rutherford and his research group used alpha particles, a type of radioactivity, to investigate the inner structure of the atom. The alpha particles were positively charged and rather massive, having twice the charge of a proton and four times its mass. The idea was that these heavy particles would interact with the protons in the atom and how they interacted would reveal something about the arrangement of the protons in the atom. The experiment, called the alpha scattering experiment or the gold foil experiment, consisted of a very thin piece of gold foil chosen because it was a heavy atom with lots of protons and because you could make a really thin foil out of it through which a beam of alpha particles was directed. The source was probably a piece of uranium metal. The particles were then detected by a fluorescent screen, initially placed only in front of the gold foil, like this. It was expected that not much change would be found for the particles. Alpha particles were much heavier than protons. So, like a softball rolled through a bunch of tennis balls, it was the tennis balls that would be expected to move. There would be some effect on the alpha particles, but not much. Initially, Rutherford found virtually no deflections at all, less than he had expected. When the detector was extended around the gold foil more completely, however, an experiment actually done by Geiger and Marsden, other members of the group, large deflections were discovered, and even some reflections. This was totally unexpected. Rutherford commented, it was as if I had fired a cannon at a piece of tissue paper and the shell had bounced back and hit me. In order for the alpha particles to be deflected through large angles, there had to be a lot of force applied. And that meant that there needed to be a concentration of positive charge in the atom. In order for the alpha particle to be reflected, there needed to be something much more massive that the alpha particle hit. A bowling ball does not bounce off a tennis ball, but a tennis ball does bounce off a bowling ball. This is the nucleus. The nucleus holds all of the positive charge and most of the mass of the atom. As was discovered later, the nucleus contains protons and neutrons and is extremely small, one ten thousandth of the radius of the atom.